Hey, welcome back to Herbal Bunny's Pharmacy. Just in my yard and I found another medicinal weed growing out here. It's marshmallow root. We're gonna go dig it up. All right, sorry about all my dead grass. <laughs> it's summertime, we don't water our grass here. This is marshmallow and I wanted to show you the leaves. They're very distinctive leaves. It's got a little, oh, here we go. Here we go. I got a little bit of shadow in there. That's the leaves of marshmallow. Very distinctive leaves. And I want to show you a look-alike. Okay, right down here is a look-alike. Like that. This is called buttercup. So see how the leaves are more separate and the mallow, they're more connected. Got a little piece of grass on him. More connected right there. So this is marshmallow and this is buttercup. That's the difference. All right, so let's talk about the medicinal benefits of marshmallow. So all parts of the marshmallow plant, mallow, also known as common mallow, are used for medicinal purposes. It has this mucilaginous effect, which means it kind of has like mucus. <laughs> it's so it helps, it gets like kind of sticky. So if you were to chew on this plant, it would have like this, um, like mucusy um, effect to it, and that's to help spider on me. It's to help to coat your throat, coat your um, intestines, your lining, and stuff. And it's very well, uh, very good for healing your body on the inside as well on the outside. So if you have any rashes or eczema, psoriasis, bug bites, bee stings, you can actually rub that on the spot. I would recommend men chewing it up just a little bit and you'll see you'll get that effect in your mouth you'll understand what i'm talking about i'm trying to hide from the sun here uh and same way with the root so the roots are tap roots so they go down pretty far we're going to dig it up and i'll show you uh you want to use the root you dry it out and you can boil it and you'll just start seeing the mucusy and you can drink that uh, it's good for healing any like i said ulcers um it's the, the roots also have uh, prebiotic starches in the plant. Uh, it can help heal if you have like leaky gut, uh, any gut dysbiosis, Crohn's disease. Um, if you have cough or any respiratory illnesses, you can make a syrup out of it. Use uh, some honey. So for coughing, if you have a cough, um, if you smoke and you're trying to stop smoking, which is highly recommended, then you can take uh, marshmallow root and drink that to help relieve some of the, uh, the tar that's built up in your lungs. Um, it's good for like constipation, uh, diarrhea. My husband right there, he's gonna pop out over here. <laughs> um, he distracted me. The sun, I just can't keep it out, okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to dig this up so you guys can actually see the roots on it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and chew this. Cup, Luna. All right, here he is. There's the marshmallow and see these tap roots. So I'm going to be drying this out. It's the only plant I found out here in my yard. I just this happened to just going by. I'm like, whoa, score. Yeah, so these roots are actually white where it gets its name marshmallow. Does not taste anything like marshmallow. Although I kind of like the taste of it. It is kind of earthy, but um, not, not like a dirt taste to it though. Um, I, I like the effect that it has in your mouth, but yeah, so it has, scrape that off there. See that? It's white and it does get this mucilaginous jelly. It's kind of a little sticky and stuff, but we're gonna go clean this up so you can take a better look at it. All right, so here's what it looks like with all the dirt and the grass knocked off of it. 
That looks like a tree. All right, let's wash him up and get the green off because we're going to still use the green parts. Now I'm just going to use this brush to kind of scrub off some of the dirt. Okay, so I have scrubbed off as much as I could with the dirt. And as you can see, he's definitely white. He's kind of coming apart there from scrubbing him. But he does have this outer layer on the root. And once I dry him, I'm going to scratch that part off, probably just with a knife of some sort, because it comes off fairly easily. I may do it before I dry it out. But anyway, you're going to, you can dry this out on just Allodirect sunlight, just let it dry, or you can put it in a dehydrator, however you prefer. It'll probably take a couple weeks to dry out. And then you can, uh, I'm going to put it through a, um, a spice grinder, coffee grinder, and make it into a powder, and I will use that powder for the winter time to help with any of the things that I may have, like a upset tummy or a cough, sore throat, or um, any ulcers that my mom may have. She gets ulcers pretty easily. And the leaves, I'm just gonna dry those out and make them into a tea. I'll, I will put those in a dehydrator and you know, kind of clean them up a little bit, get these woody parts off. But yeah, not a whole lot of greens there, but that's okay. And I'm gonna take my dirty water and water my squash plant. Just pour it right on there. And collect a harvest. Why not, right? All right, thank you for watching Herbal Bunny's Pharmacy. Please subscribe to my channel, share it to somebody who could benefit from this information, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!